China's new missiles are powerful enough to completely destroy America's most powerful aircraft carriers in a single strike. It is the biggest mistake these missiles will ever make. The massive aircraft carriers of the U.S. Navy are the single largest, most expensive, and most intimidating assets of the U.S. Navy. They must be protected at all costs. And any weapon that dares be powerful enough to threaten them is signing up for certain neutralization from the U.S. Still, China doubles down on its carrier-destroying quest by using full-size mock-ups of American carriers as target practice. To defeat the U.S. in an all-out war that could break out due to the issue with Taiwan, China knows it must first defeat the American supercarriers. The only thing is, American supercarriers are so powerful and capable that it's like bringing a carrier to a knife fight. Case in point, the jaw-dropping capabilities of the USS Gerald Ford supercarrier. With a heavy displacement of 100,000 tons, a wallet draining cost of $13 billion, and an entire catalog of weapons enough to destroy entire cities, the USS Gerald Ford is everything the world's top navy could need on the seas. The bulk of the carrier's lethality comes from five main technologies, and here they are. Number 5. Nuclear Power Two Bechtel A1B nuclear reactors, the most cutting-edge engines created for use on water, power the USS Gerald Ford. As a result, the carrier would only need to be refueled once over its entire 50-year operational life as these engines make use of the everlasting nature of nuclear energy. This means USS Ford can run for 25 years without refueling. And with a peak speed of around 30 knots, the supercarrier can access every country on the planet just in time to pay friendly visits to allies and wreak havoc on enemies. Number 4. AI and Automation The USS Ford is as intelligent as they come, with a balance of brute force and intelligence capabilities. It achieves this by exploiting artificial intelligence, particularly in the form of unmanned vehicles, which are, on their own, making a name for themselves. The automation of the carrier itself also comes into play, allowing for fewer crew members than expected for a ship this huge. And with less personnel count on board comes more free space in the ship's hull to hold more systems, weapons, and life enhancement features, such as ergonomic spaces and gymnasiums, which ultimately results in a better quality of life for the 4,500 crew members. An important factor, seeing as a carrier can only be as agile as the crew that keeps her oiled up and ready for action. Number 3. New Sensors and Processing Systems USS Ford features the latest sensors, processors, and weapons needed on an aircraft carrier to maintain that balance of intelligence and lethality. Unlike virtually every other aircraft carrier in the world, the USS Ford features a single system for both horizon and volume search in the form of the ANSBY-3 multifunction radar for X and S-band active electronically scanned array. It remains the most advanced radar system from the U.S., with enough versatility to handle surveillance, air traffic control, missile communications, and spot targets from miles away. Number 2. American Fighter Jets and UAVs Up to 75 fighter jets and unmanned aerial vehicles, or UAVs, can call the USS Ford home at a time, including the Navy's favorite child, the fifth-generation F-35C Lightning II Joint Strike Fighter whose development program remains the most expensive weapons development program of the Pentagon to date, with a reported cost of $400 billion. The result of such an expensive program is a fighter that really can do it all. Close air support, vertical takeoff and landing, and everything in between, cementing it as the modern go-to fighter for the Navy and every other department of the military. That is, until the sixth-generation FAXX fighter takes center stage, of course. And for when that happens, the USS Ford is already equipped with the technologies required to host, launch, and arrest it. Number 1. Advanced Launch and Arrest Systems An electromagnetic launch system to catapult every kind of manned and unmanned aircraft to the sky in the shortest possible distance, and an arresting gear that saves them from becoming sea divers by grinding them to a sharp halt. The edge of these systems that offer 4,100 takeoffs and 16,500 arrests before faults over short takeoff ramps and even older steam-powered launch systems are increased sorties, 
meaning more aircraft could take off from this carrier and land on it in the shortest possible time than any aircraft carrier without these systems. USS Gerald Ford is the first class of the Gerald Ford class, and there are nine more like it on the way. But while they remain the best thing since the Navy's version of sliced bread, they are far from invincible and can be destroyed in seconds by some weapons that they had better fear. For as long as history can remember, airborne threats have been the biggest fear of the U.S. Navy. They're faster and more agile than ships could ever be. As a result, long-range cruise missiles and ballistic missiles are some sort of kryptonite to America's supercarriers. So it's no surprise that China has specialized in building an entire fleet of them. The Anti-Ship Ballistic Missile Program, or ASBM program of the Chinese Navy, the program responsible for the American carrier mock-up target practice, is aimed at producing a fleet of ASBMs that would put the fear of extinction in nations before deploying ships against China. An ASBM starts its flight to the target following a ballistic trajectory. The path generally takes it into space before it returns to Earth, re-entering the atmosphere at a steep angle. The final stage will have some form of maneuverable re-entry vehicle. Therefore, it can adjust its flight path to hit the target which may have moved during the flight. The maneuvering flight path will also make it harder to intercept, thereby increasing the threat it poses. The high speeds of over Mach 5 earn them the hypersonic weapon title. Therefore, current air defense systems will have to take speed lessons from Usain Bolt to keep up with and intercept them. ASBMs of the future could get even wilder and feature a hypersonic glide vehicle as the final stage. This comes with an aerodynamic form with wings that allow it to skim off the atmosphere, thus extending its range and making the missile even harder to intercept. China has at least three of these hard-to-intercept weapons, and they're already providing the country with potentially game-changing capabilities. These include the ground-based DF-21 missiles, which have an estimated range of 920 miles and can reach speeds of up to Mach 10. The DF-21 is complemented by the newer and improved DF-26, which has a 250% greater range of about 2,300 miles. The DF-26 has several interchangeable payloads weighing up to 4,000 pounds, including both nuclear and conventional warheads. The anti-ship version is therefore just a configuration, and any DF-26 could be fitted for that purpose in the field. Then there is the latest DF-27, the latest carrier killer that takes its job too seriously with its super-heavy payload and a planet-traversing range of up to 5,000 miles. Sea-based and air-based ASBMs are also reportedly in the works in China. All of these cement the notion that in whatever terrain, in whatever mood, and at whatever time of day, China wants to have the capability to destroy American carriers on demand. And the country could maybe have achieved that already, if only the American supercarriers weren't so heavily protected and generally unstoppable. Sir USS Gerald Ford, the unstoppable. USS Gerald Ford may have the perfect response to the Chinese threats. The carriers are guarded on the seas by an entire army of destroyers, frigates, cruisers, corvettes, submarines, and much more, each tasked in its own way with protecting the aircraft carrier and other friendlies. The carrier itself wields a slew of onboard defenses, including a long-range radar for threat detection, multiple jamming systems for electronic and communications warfare, ship-to-air missiles, ship-to-ship -ship missiles, and sometime soon, even laser weapons, such as the 33-kilowatt ANSEQ-3 laser weapon system and the stronger 60-kilowatt $105 million high-energy laser with integrated optical dazzler and surveillance system, or Helios for short. Helios already arms Arleigh Burke Flight 2A DDG-51 destroyers and is undergoing additional land and ocean testing and assessments. These laser weapons could give the carrier the ability to incinerate enemy strikes with great precision and at the speed of light. The capability comes with a low cost, unlimited magazine, stealth, scalability, and many other features that may force China to rethink its quest to aim at American supercarriers. In addition to this slew of defenses, the U.S. has taken the initiative to develop specialized air defense ships and an entirely new anti-access or area denial combat strategy to ensure carriers can continue to project power and attack from greater distances in a very high-threat environment. 
All of these may suggest that the invincibility of aircraft carriers isn't going away anytime soon, a fact that's backed by China's constant efforts to grow its own aircraft carrier fleet. The USS Gerald Ford, colossal, agile, and lethal, is the first hurdle world powers must overcome if they would even near America's dominance on the seas. Efforts continue to be made to jump this hurdle, but the supercarrier is simply too super to handle. And to make it even more super, the US Navy wants you to subscribe to this channel and give this video a like. So do that now, and thanks for watching.